What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. We got a bunch of news, so let's get right into it. The first story of the day comes from T-Mobile. T-Mobile will be pushing out a new service that will block spam and scam calls. Some of them will get blocked at the network level, so you won't even get the call. And then other calls will be, you'll get like a message on your phone, I'll say like spam likely or like, it might be a spammer or slash scammer, so be, be be aware, which is a great service. Now, uh, in Google phones, Android phones, I, I know like with my Pixel, sometimes when the phone rings, I'll get a uh, little message on there saying it's like, might be spam call, be aware, which is great. I love having that, but at least the, the carrier should already have something like this because they have all this information of spam slash spam, uh, scam caller. So then T-Mobile offering this is a great service. It's obviously free. I'd love to see uh, the other network carriers here in the USA do the same thing because I think it's about time to help people, especially you know people that aren't aware of certain scams that are going on or older people who you know get scammed on this. It's too much crap going on. So hopefully all the carriers push this out in due time. Next up, if you still have your Galaxy Note 7, yeah, it won't die. The Galaxy Note 7 is still going on and still going strong. Today, over in Korea, Samsung is going to push an update very, 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 very soon that will basically kill your phone. And the only way it will work is you'll have to have it plugged in and kept on. They're gonna eliminate the battery life for it. And again, unless it's completely plugged in, that's the only way it's going to work. So this update should be out very soon, and it looks like it's only going to be in Korea, at least that for the time being. I don't know if it's going to spread out through across the world, but the story is specifically talking about Korea having this issue with the Galaxy Note 7 where they'll basically kill the battery. Next up, if you're getting a little concerned about that new blue color for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus not coming out, well, good news for you because it looks like the blue phone will come out. A new leaked image was revealed today and you can see blue. You can't see the back of the phone, but you can see at the top there's blue on the phone and then the front is all black. Uh, just to talk about the black part, there's a, a news coming out about that that they made those all black so that the sensors would be more hidden because there's a ton of sensors on this phone, especially on the front of it. And uh, again, the blue, very, very cool. These colors are looking really nice. The blue is exciting, the, the purplish gray color. The black is really nice. Silver is kind of boring, but overall, really great colors for a really good looking phone. We're only a couple of weeks away. This phone is gonna be stacked to the gills with lots of technology and treats inside it. So again, blue. And the last story of the day is a video of the Galaxy S8 being typed on as fast as it can. These guys are going mad at it, typing, see how fast it goes, see if there's any delay. It looks to me from the video, it looks very good. I don't see any delay with it. I know in the past when I've used Galaxy phones, especially over time, they've gotten a little bit delayed with typing, but this one looks rock solid. That Snapdragon 835 or Exynos chip, whatever this specific model has that they're typing on, looks really, really good. And uh, we can only hope for more cool videos of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus to come along in the near future. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do a new video every single day. My question of the day is, talking about keyboards, what is your favorite keyboard to use on your phone? I'm a Google keyboard kind of guy. I think they have a new name for it. It's called Gboard now. Love it. Very good keyboard. I like that you can search for emojis and you know you can different themes to choose from and it's free. That is my favorite keyboard, the Gboard. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite keyboard to you is is on your phone. And my product of the day is the Sony FDRX 3000 action camera. This goes up against the GoPro and the video on this is really, really nice. Up to 4K 30 frames per second and basically everything in between that and 720p, 1080p, 120 frames, 240 frames. It's got everything that you could possibly want. Very, very cool. The microphone on this is a beast. I will have a video on this later, but so far, bam, this thing is a beast. Guys, thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. I will see you down the road. Peace.